In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. By the star when it goes down. Your companion is neither astray nor being misled. Nor does he say aught of his own desire. It is no less than inspiration sent down to him. He was taught by one mighty in power, endued with wisdom, for he appeared in stately form while he was in the highest part of the horizon. Then he approached and came closer, and was at a distance of but two bows length or even nearer. So did Allah convey the inspiration to his servant, conveyed what he meant to convey. The Prophet's mind and heart in no way falsified that which he saw. Will ye then dispute with him concerning what he saw? For indeed he saw him at a second descent, near the lot tree of the uttermost boundary. Near it is the garden of abode. Behold, the lot tree was shrouded with what shrouds? His sight never swerved, nor did it go wrong. For truly did he see of the signs of his Lord the greatest. Have ye seen Lut and Uzzah? And another, the third goddess, Manat. What for you the male sex, and for him the female? Behold, such would be indeed a division most unfair. These are nothing but names which ye have devised, ye and your fathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority whatever. They follow nothing but conjecture and what the souls desire, even though there has already come to them guidance from their Lord. Nay, shall man have just anything he hankers after? But to Allah belongeth the hereafter and the former life. How many soever be the angels in the heavens, their intercession will avail nothing except after Allah has given leave for whom he pleases, and that he is acceptable to him. Those who believe not in the hereafter name the angels with female names. But they have no knowledge therein. They follow nothing but conjecture, and conjecture avails nothing against truth. Therefore shun those who turn away from our message and desire nothing but the life of this world. That is their attainment of knowledge. Verily thy Lord knoweth best those who stray from his path, and he knoweth best those who receive guidance. Yea, to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth, so that he rewards those who do evil according to their deeds, and he rewards those who do good with what is best.
those who avoid great sins and indecent deeds save lesser offences. Verily, thy Lord is ample in forgiveness. He knows you well when he brings you out of the earth, and when ye are hidden in your mother's wombs. Therefore justify not yourselves. He knows best who it is that guards against evil. Seest thou one who turns back, gives a little, then hardens his heart? What, has he knowledge of the unseen, so that he can see? Nay, is he not acquainted with what is in the book of Moses, and of Abraham who fulfilled his commandments? namely that no bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another. That man can have nothing but what he strives for. That the fruit of his striving will soon come in sight. Then will he be rewarded with a reward complete. That to thy Lord is the final goal. That it is he who granteth laughter and tears. That it is he who granteth death and life. That he did create in pairs, male and female. from a sperm drop when he lodged in its place. That he hath promised a second creation, raising of the dead. That it is he who giveth wealth and satisfaction. That he is the Lord of Sirius, the mighty star. And that it is he who destroyed the powerful ancient Ud people. And the Thamud, he left no traces of them. And before them, the people of Noah, for that they were all most unjust and most insolent transgressors. And he destroyed the overthrown cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, so that there covered it that which covered. Then which of the favours of thy Lord, O man, wilt thou dispute about? This is a warner of the series of warners of old. The hour ever approaching draws nigh. No one but Allah can disclose it. Do ye then wonder at this recital? And will ye laugh and not weep? Wasting your time in vanities. But fall ye down in prostration to Allah and adore him.